All quiet on the Western Front. The German language war film leads the BAFTAs with 14 nominations and has another nine at the Oscars. But none of this would have happened if it wasn't for a Scottish triathlete. This is my primary school and here at Allen's Primary. So a pretty special place to me. Site of your first theatrical production. That's right, yeah. that's it, that's it. Leslie Patterson is a five times off-road triathlon world champion. She grew up here in Stirling, but moved to California in her early 20s, combining her athletics career with trying to break into the movies. How much has triathlon got you ready for Hollywood? Yeah, oh, very much so. Just, you know, it's a practice and resilience and overcoming failure, which is what Hollywood is, really. In 2006, Leslie bought the film rights to a book she'd loved at school, All Quiet on the Western Front. We then embarked on adapting the novel into a screenplay, which took us about two years, and tried to get it off the ground. And it was impossible. <laughs> Almost a decade later, and things were serious. To keep hold of the film rights, she needed $10,000 by the end of the week and didn't have it. She came up with a plan, enter a triathlon in Costa Rica, and if she won, the prize money would be enough. This was your last shot? It was, it was my last shot, and uh, I turned up at the race, fighting fit, ready to really go for it, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna win this race, all right. Uh, and the day before the race, I actually fell off my bike and broke my shoulder. With no alternative, she still entered, swimming a mile on one arm. Oh, it's brutal, I was exhausted. It's hilarious because my husband was watching from the shore and all he could see was my leg kick, you know, and all of the people beside him were like, look at that poor professional athlete. They're not very good, are they? <laughs> Came out the water 12 minutes behind. How berserk did you go on the bike? I went berserk. I, I mean, I really went for it. Uh, there was nothing to lose. Cycled up to second, ran into first, and yeah, <laughs> that's how I did it. How did it feel to have won the race? Oh, it was magic, but it was quite funny because I came through the line and of course you have your banner that you lift up and I couldn't lift it up because uh, of course my broken shoulder. So I was kind of grimacing and smiling and trying to lift this thing up and I couldn't. The book rights were saved. Eventually Netflix became interested. There was the idea to translate Leslie's script into German and in 2022, the film was released. Doing the premiere one weekend and then I race the world championships the next weekend. And then last month. The nominees are All Quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> Screenplay by Edward Berger, Leslie Patterson, and Ian Stokel. An Oscar nomination. It's totally bananas. I mean, it still hasn't sunk in. It was funny, I was speaking to my mum last night and she said it certainly from, you know, a, a wee Scottish girl, it's untouchable. It feels untouchable you know, Hollywood and, and Oscars and all that. But you know, I think it's just perseverance and passion that's paid off. But it won't actually be her first time at the ceremony because a decade ago, in a bid to make money, she signed up for a catering agency. And I waited tables at the Oscars and had Judy Dench on my table and Jennifer Lopez. I was so excited because you're seeing all of these massive stars and it's just so bizarre and but what's even more crazy is now I'm meeting them as peers. You know, I got a chance to speak to Steven Spielberg a few weeks ago and he knew who I was. I couldn't believe it. Leslie Patterson. Maybe someday her story will be made into a film. Get the good work out. Colin Patterson, BBC News, Stirling.